Welcome to uh, Top 5 Tuesdays. I'm bringing it back because I got my free time. <laughs> um, for Top 5 Tuesdays, I was reviewing video games and music, but now I'm bringing it back to review video games, television shows, movies, and food. Especially food, because my friends won't stop talking about it for some reason, and I don't know why. And yesterday, I made a quick blog saying that I might wasn't able going to do it today, but looks like I am. We're gonna start off with the top five video games on the Xbox 360 and on the Xbox One. Number one. Call of Duty Ghosts. I mean, I played a little bit of it. Um, I was online playing matches with it against other players, and I realized something that they changed the whole map system. Like you can't see when the enemy is coming. You have to look at the names and to see if it's red, and then boom, there's your enemies, which I find very interesting, and which makes it really hard to play as. It, is number two Adventure Time um, Explore the Dungeon because I don't know it's a really I find it a good game but people might not uh, all you really do is you can do is um play as Finn, Jake, Marceline, LSP um, cinnamon bun and um, and I think that's it I'm not really positive I forget I think those are the most characters that you, you can be as but all you do is go into a dungeon explore all the dungeons around it well there's a hundred dungeons I believe um, I didn't make it that far. I only made it to like twenty, yeah, twenty dun levels in the dungeon. You find items that you carry out of the dungeon that you can use later on. And when you kill enemies, they usually drop items, and you find um, treasure chests that have items, and you will find food. Dungeon food like apple, pretzels, um, basically anything food related. <coughs> and you can have up to four players, and sadly, I have no one to play with. Moving on, uh, number three GTA 5. Really awesome game. Online mode, excellent. I mean, it has a little bit of lagging in it, but I think they'll hopefully more fixing to online will happen. Um, it's a really good game. Can't wait to do heists, you know, like robbing banks, jewelry stores with your friends. No, not your friends, but with your crew. And you customize your character on how they look, and I find it amazing to that you can do it, do all that stuff with your friends, aka your crew. And number four, um, WWE 2K14. Um, I realized that. Ever since WWE 13 came out, um, from December they went, uh, no, not in December, but in November they start with the DLC, then they go to December, then into January. So you have three months of DLC that you can download and use. Like today, um, the DLC for Bruno Sammartino, um, 
Virgil, um, Rick Rude, Dusty Rhodes, and a bunch of other legends that we have as DLC, which I find is amazing. Um, I played it online with against other players, but I said I played online. There. They're supposed to fix any hackers or with spamming the same moves over and over again really fast, but I guess they didn't fix up. I guess that happened to me a bunch of times. Continuing on with the top five, and the final one, number five, um, it's on the Xbox One. It's called Killer Instinct. It's a one on one. Um, game. It's for free. It's really excellent. Um, you do all these moves. It's basically like a version of Street Fighter. Actually, it basically is like Street Fighter. Just picture it, but with different characters and names. It's mo mainly just Street Fighter. That's it. Um, so, yeah, that's some top five Tuesdays. Um, comment down below. On which game I mentioned is your favorites. I'll get back to you guys next Tuesday with a new top five. All right, I'm gonna go. Love you guys. Peace out. Make sure, hopefully, you subscribe to my main channel and hopefully, you subscribe to my gaming channel, which I just uploaded two new videos not that long ago of Tenzai vs. Bros. Queen play on SmackDown and, um, Um, shit, yet. Uh, I hate this, um, uh, it was that rest of, oh, I just remembered it, <laughs> um, Daniel Bryan vs. The Undertaker at WrestleMania 30, apparently, Undertaker wants to fight, um, Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania 30. Um, so yeah. Love you guys. Peace out. Boy,